thank you tonight for the presence of God in this building. Not only in the building, but in the hearts of His people. I'm glad to ask you to among us tonight. The goodness of God. Thank you for what's been moving. There's times you just feel that the Lord would love to do so much more. Uh, it is God's will to help everybody. If you're not. God wants to help us. He wants to help us. Uh, I felt like asking my sister to sing this song. Uh, Seem like this morning, we'll go we'll back and we've had storms. We've had blizzards, we've had ice storms, we've had sickness. The enemy has been pressing everybody in the church. Amen. He wants to shut us down. He hates the Word of God. Uh, he hates the sound of God. And uh, Jesus warned us about this thief uh, that he had come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Uh, but Jesus didn't stop there. He said, I am come that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. Praise the Lord. I've got hope tonight. I have good hope in the Lord. The Lord is our help and our strength. I thought the devil would, would love to do, but he can only do as much as what God will allow. Amen. Amen. Children, we are serving a great and mighty God. Yes. There is nothing beyond his control. Nothing, nothing he won't do for his people. Amen. We can expect him to do. Praise the Lord. I, I thought I told the wife. When some things, hey, you know, I don't want to dwell on things that, that the devil's done. That's just what the devil wants us to do. Amen. He wants us to dwell on things and talk about that. Let that be the service. But uh, I'm only going to say this because I feel like saying we're going to try to lose it. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. I, I told her how that the enemy been coming. I said, if, if we're not careful, I said, the devil, he wants to make our people afraid right. to come to the house of God. Right. He wants to make them afraid to come to prayer. That's my wife. She's here. I thought he wants to make them afraid to come down different times, you know, during the day. He wants to make them afraid and worry about their car at night. Uh, but children, don't let the devil steal Amen. your heart. Amen. Don't let the devil win. Amen, Amen brother. Amen. Stuff. Oh, wow. It's just stuff. It's just things. You're going to die one day. I'm going to die one day. Uh, if the Lord don't come back, if He does and I'm ready, I'm going to change and leave this body in there. It's going to be changed. Amen. And you can't take anything with you of this world. I'm glad tonight that I have something that I can take with me. Amen. Amen. I've got something in me that I can take with me when yeah. I go. And the devil can't have it. So children, don't let your mind dwell on these things. Right. Dwell on the good things of God. Right. Dwell on the hope that you have in God. Dwell upon the salvation that God has for me and you. Dwell let your heart be upon the good things of God. Let us dwell on faith. Let us dwell on the love of God. Let us think tonight about the blessing that God has already done, performed in my and your life. God is still God. God will always be God. When I turn to dust, brother James, he will still be on the throne. He will still be God. Amen. Amen. When this building is, is burned away and melted in a fervent heat, God will still be God. Amen. Who do you have your hope in right now? Amen. Where is your hope tonight? Where is your hope? Well, let me ask you, what is hope? What is hope? Uh, hope is looking... To the future for good things to come. Right. Hope is believing in the promises of God to carry you through. Uh, hope is trusting that God will perform the things that He has said. Right. Now, where do you have your hope tonight? 
Where is your hope? Where is your hope? Praise the Lord. This place should have been rolling a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Anytime it's worship part of the service, you should have been on your feet over the table. You should have been worshiping God while ago. Amen. And it's not too late. You can worship Him right now if you want to. But where is your hope tonight? If you've got your hope in man, you're about to be mightily disappointed. Amen. If your hope lies in woman, you're going to be greatly disappointed. But if you have got your hope in the promises of God, hold fast to the anchor of your soul. Hope is the anchor of our soul. Well, what is an anchor? That that you can set out in a, in a storm and not be blown off course. That that you can grab hold of and cannot be moved. Hold on to your hope. What do you have hope in? I have hope in a land that is better. In, in a place for the soul that is home. I have hope. And I've got loved ones that's going on and I'm going to be with them again one day. Do you have hope tonight? Do you have hope? Praise the Lord. I feel like the devil's come in and slipped off. And when he left, he took somebody's hope with him. All right. Amen. I've got hope. Praise the Lord. In a man named Jesus Christ. Amen. They say it's not his name in the English tongue. That's his name. And they will tell you about him when I say Jesus. He knows I'm talking to him. Praise the Lord. Where have you got your hope tonight? Where are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you expecting to receive? I'm expecting to receive all the promises of God. Because all the promises of God in Him are yea, yea. Yes, we can have. Yes, we can make it. Yes, we can obtain. Yes, we can stand. Yes, we can overcome. Yes, we are able. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Where's your Lord? Where's your hope? Well, go down and pray. You know what that's a good sign of? You need to go pray. Go to church tonight. You know what that's a sign of? You go to church tonight. Right. Man, you don't fast anymore. You know what that means? Fast no more. Don't ask God anymore about that. That means ask Him again. Go back and ask Him again. Well, why would you ask Him for that? Because I've got hope. And He's told me. That if his word is provided me, I would not have him, but I could ask what I would. He would be done for me. I've got hope in the word of God. Praise the Lord, too. Don't let the devil draw you. He's trying to press us so much that we give up. But if you give up, what do you gain? What is there to be gained? You couldn't deny it, you could walk away. And only a foolish man would do that. But if you could walk away right now and leave the Lord, what would you gain? What would you have? At least when I'm in trouble, trouble come, yeah, trouble come to everybody. But when trouble comes to me, I've got someone I can go to and I can talk to him and he can make a change in the trouble in my life. But if you leave him, who do you have to hope in? Where are you going to go in the time we know? Lord, we've got children. We ought to be glad with what we know about the Lord. We ought to be glad when you're sitting tonight. Blessed. To be among the people of God, in the house of God, filled the Spirit of God, looking unto the good things of God. I've got hope. I've got hope. I don't have a whole lot of any other thing in this world, but in the Lord, I've got good hope. Praise the Lord. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Do you trust the Lord? Do you really trust the Lord? Oh, I trust you, Brother Jesse. Do you really trust Him? Really? In a time when things go wrong, do you question the Lord? When things get hard, do you doubt the Lord? When things don't go your way, do you get frustrated with the Lord? Then you don't fully really trust the Lord. Right. Help me to trust the Lord. We're talking about one that knows exactly what you have to do. He knows what is best for me and you. He knows what I need and He knows what I want. And He knows when what I want is not good for me. Amen. And He doesn't always give me what I want. 
You say, Thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. And cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. How often do you go to the Lord? How often do you go? The Lord is our strong habitation. He's a place of refuge. He's a place that I can go and hide myself in Him. When, when burdens of this life get so great, I can go to Him and He can shield me from the enemy. Amen. Give me that moment at the altar, that moment in my closet, that moment wherever I'm at. He give me that moment of peace. Amen. How often do you go to the Lord? Thou hast given commandment to save me, for Thou art my rock, my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For Thou art my hope. O oh Lord God, Thou art my trust from my youth. By Thee have I beholden, been holden up from the womb. Thou art He that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of Thee. Well, have you praised the Lord since then? So this is kind of someone that listens to it. I'm talking serious to you. If you lose your hope, the devil will wipe you out. Amen. If you lose your hope, there's no reason to believe in the Word of God because you have no hope to receive. There's no reason to press on because you have no hope of deliverance. If you lose your hope, you lose your foothold. The devil can move you about wherever he wants to move you. Right. Thou art my hope, O oh Lord. Is the Lord your hope? Is the Lord your hope? No. Jenna, I don't mean is he somebody you come out on Wednesday night and listen to him sing about. I'm talking about judgment just ahead. Death one breath away. Is the Lord your hope? Praise the Lord. I'm as a wanderer unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Then begin to sing a while ago, I am. If you've never had him to be I am, then that song never meant anything to you. But if you have ever found him to be I am, then you know what they're saying about it. I am. I've got my hope in I am. I'm looking to the promises of God to come my way. I'm looking for the Lord to come back by through and help the church. Let me tell you something, children. We've been having good meetings. Amen. When we've been allowed to have church, we've been having some good meetings. Amen. Praise God. We're about to have a breakthrough and the devil wants to stop it. Amen. Hold on to your hope. Hold on to that hope that you've got. Whatever the Lord has promised you, God has not forgotten. Amen. You may forget. There have been times God has had to remind me of things that He's told me. Yeah. But He never forgot. No. He's not forgotten the things He's told you. You better hold on to the hope that you've got. We live in a wicked, perverse generation. <laughs> People that don't know God, don't want to know God. But we know Him. And it's in Him that we put our trust. It's in Him you can trust the Lord. With your problems, with your needs, with your natural needs, with your spiritual needs, with a broken heart, with a broken spirit, you can trust the Lord. And he's the only one you can trust. Praise God. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Let me read that again. Cast me not off in the time of old age. You reckon when I get old and slow down that the Lord will go and find somebody young and leave me? Well, praise the Lord. Praise God. Don't let the devil take your hope. You know what tell you? You're too old. You can't do like you used to do. But God won't leave you just because you get old and slow. Amen. You get slow, you get in trouble. 
But just because in a time of old age, the Lord just draws right on out and wait for the change to come. Change is going to come. That's where I've got my hope tonight. What about you? Where is your hope? Where do you have your hope at? Praise God. For, for mine enemies, forsake me not when my strength fail, for mine enemies speak against me. They that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him. Persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. O oh my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually. And will yet praise be more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness. And thy salvation all the day. For I know not the number thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness. Even of thine only. O God thou hast taught me from my youth. And hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. Where's your hope? Where's your hope? Where's your hope? Do we live in a generation of holy little spirit of God when he walks in the building? You elders, you know the Lord. You know that a lot of people are trying to draw nine get loose in the city. Yes, they know that they tried to come down. Yes, One of those other people. Yes. Sit down, sit back, and give up hope on God. Yes. Children, when the Spirit begins to move, my hope begins to rise within me. Yes. Because I know if anything can rebuke that enemy, yes. it's the Holy Ghost. Yes. Anything can put a stop to the work of the enemy. Yes. It is the Spirit of God. When He comes in the church, there's a time of reverence unto His name. Amen, Amen brother. Amen. 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 Where do you have the hope? Where do you have the hope? I'm just going to talk to you now. Where I feel the talk. Hey, some here tonight, if you just about have lost everything that you one time had in the Lord. When I woke up this morning, as I went through the day, this Sunday was up on my heart. Didn't know if you'd be here, but I'm glad you're here. I want to tell you, it is not too late. To get your hope. It's not too late to get you some hope. If you're here tonight, children, you have hope in God, you're expecting something from the Lord. And you come together as a little preacher, man, get your mind back on God. There's somebody here that's just about to give up. It's just about uh, Which one would you want to lose tonight? If we were to go through here and have to pick one, which one would you pick? Which one would you say? Well, we'd be better off without that. You know what I would like to do? I'd like to tell you that there is hope. I'd like to tell you there is hope. The devil will never show you hope. He'll show you despair. He'll cause you to give up. He'll show you every reason in the world why you cannot make it. He'll show you why you've gone too far. You've gone too far away. You've done this. You've done that. You've done the other. You've seen God saw that. It's too late for you. I've come to tell you tonight. There is still hope for your soul. But you have to take a hold of that hope. You have to take hold of it. As you go to tonight, you have seen the power of God. You have felt the power of God. You have been amongst and beheld the miracles and signs and wonders. And there you sit tonight with just about every ounce of hope gone from your life. Let me talk to you. You've got one hope. You've got one hope. Church, what is his name? Jesus. You've got one hope. You've got one hope. 
So let me talk a little bit. I've got my hope in the King of Kings. In the Lord of Lords. I've got my hope in I am. I've got my hope in that man one time a long time ago. He called me. And some boys, they like to go into all the things that they've done in the past and sin. It's a shame of you to speak of those things that are done in darkness. Right. And I tell you this much, it don't matter if somebody was a bigger sinner or what, they're all sinners. One time I was a sinner. I done wrong. I was lost. I was on the wrong road. But the king called my name. And he gave me some hope. He called my name. I knew when that came by my way. I knew who that was. He had been preached to me. He had been taught to me. He had been shown to me through my life. But until that night, I did not know what it was to have a hope. But it came my way. And He knocked upon my heart. And He offered me hope. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? Another day of the same thing? Another day to fight the enemy? Another day to sit around and listen to the devil? talk to you to tell you all the reason why you should just give up. To tell you how to show you how many times that you have tried. How many times you have failed. You know I tell my people the best part about falling down <coughs> is getting back yeah, up. Right. Right. Get back up. Yeah. Grab a hold of hope. Man. As long as the Lord would be willing to deal with the man that man is hope. Yeah. We have folks that want to cut people off. They want, to, they want to just condemn and destroy. Right. Lord have mercy, don't ever let yourself get in a shape right. that you want to cut somebody off. Right. That man named Jesus, he's the one that does the cutting off. Yes. He is the man that's got the key. Right. He holds the key tonight. Right. And that man will love to give you a new hope in him. If people go through their day, the devil talks to you all day long. You pray for me, church. I'm talking directly. You talk from all day long. Tell you how hard that it is. Nobody's got confidence in you. Nobody living right. I tell you, there is someone still living right. There's still a people that believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. There are still at least nine spiritual kids in five months. They're still real right now. The Holy Ghost is still real. Somebody's living right. Somebody's living right. Somebody's living right. You can live right. You just take hold of the hand of all and hope until the end. I don't just have hope, I've got new hope. I've got new hope. I've got new hope. And you got hope. I count it, you can't see how many times I've said it tonight. That's what he told me to come and tell him that there's hope. I'm going to tell you, you've got hope. Nobody loves me, somebody loves you. I don't matter. You matter to him. Somebody loves you this much. Somebody loves you this much. Oh, Lord, at a time, my baby, at a different time, they grow most of them now. They grow but They used to come to me and say, Daddy, I love you this much. I say, I love you too. I want you to know you've got a father that loves you, that cares about you. You've got a people. Hey, church, I can't do this. For you, but I'm gonna put you on the spot. You, there are people here tonight that love you and want you to marry. They want you to go to heaven. They want you to hear him say, "Well, your hope, preacher, my hope is gone." I'm gonna tell you, your hope is gone. Your man is trouble. If your hope is gone, the anchor's gone, and you're drift down in the sea. If your hope Are you looking forward? Are you looking forward to something good? 
are you looking back to all of that? You were looking at not much, and I've never claimed to be much. But you're looking at a man that still preaches the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that blood is able to wash away all Have you got a reason to look forward? 
I love my job. You still got hope? Oh, but he got How close is he, How close is he? How close by is he, Charlie? How close is he? He come tonight. You may not feel it. I hope you believe me. That he come for you. You've been on my heart all through this day. I've been wondering. Is Charlie still got that hope? Yeah. Oh, is he not? Oh, yes. I'm not trying to embarrass that. He's my brother. Amen. That is my brother. Amen. I got a brother right there. He's a natural. I got a brother right there. He's a natural. We, are, we got a blood brother right there. Amen. 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 That we love and we do. Yeah. <coughs> That's the hope. That's the hope. Amen. Tonight, all you gotta do is listen. That's all you gotta do. Victory, she's gonna win. I sure wouldn't want to be her adversary, would you? Praise the Lord. You got hope. Where's your hope? Where's your hope? Where's your hope? Where's your hope? That in all this world, the estimate of 7 billion people, the Lord has come by to help you. He wants to help you. You might. You ever need somebody to do this? You might. Yeah. You count. You do count. Charlie, you count. You count. Church. Exactly where I'm standing. The Lord would like to give him some more hope. Stir him up. He'll let you do that. Glory to God. Give him. Glory to God. Come on, dear. Glory to God. What have you done, Pastor? I'm Pastor. Take notes. Oh, oh, Rick, you matter. You matter. Amen. You still got the hope. You still got that hope. Boy, we got her mother used to sing that song. I got hope in a land that's better. You still got that hope. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Have hey, visitors that's with us tonight. Amen.
on my heart. Come on. Every time you get in his heart, that's hope. Every time you get a raise in his heart, you look and you see something. And I'm telling you something. Lord, have mercy. You want that holy? It's God. And it's going to get a little more of it.
you desire the Lord to do for you? 
What would you want? Is there anything too hard for God? Praise the Lord. What would you want the Lord to do? What great thing that you have needed? Sometimes it's not necessarily that it's great. It just seems so impossible. And it's not that we don't think that God can do it. We just have a hard time believing God will do it for me. I'm here to tell you, if you're His, He will do for you. He will. Where's your hope? Where's your hope? We're going to open this aisle. Move on. End of the service. Where's your hope? In the Lord. Why where's your hope? In the Lord. If you're here tonight and you feel like thank you, hope us. And you just there's a need you have from the Lord. This altar is open. Can we get in this altar and tell him all about it? You can tell me. I can nod, smile, pat him back. But if you can tell him, he can do something about it. Make a change. All that he's got, sure. This altar is open. We'll make it open. Tell him, pray, children.